my my grandmother. I'm not gonna do my great grandmother. Yep. Um, just to show you how, because most of my family, I'm not gonna give a percent, but a large amount of my family, I'm gonna say like 97 percent of it. I'm not going to with the polite side is from South Carolina. Okay. More so Jasper County, South Carolina, Jasper, Clio, which then the polite, then it ties into the Knicks, which is in North okay. side, but it's still low country for sure. For the most part. And so my mother's mother, and I had to, I had to do a lot of some research yesterday. Shout out to my um my uncle Joel, cause some of these things you just don't know. Yep, my uncle Joel was just my my mother's brother. Um, finally, my grandmother left Jasper County at eighteen. She wanted a better life. Oh yeah. So she moves to Bridgeport, Connecticut. So question for you, mm-hmm. like in in our community. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't move out at 18, mm-hmm. right? And if they do, it's like to college. Mm-hmm. And even if it's in college, the parents usually take care of mm-hmm. their kid. Is that the same? My God, no. <laughs> My God, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I mean, somebody probably rolling around laughing right now. Just yeah, yeah, you say I know. That. I, I just want to ask, just right? I, I mean, I don't know. Oh, remember now, especially now, this is – this is time has changed now. Parents are more uh, accepting of their children staying. So you guys imagine that my grandma, this is probably 1950s, yeah, 60s. Sure. At 18, most women are married. Dang, okay. Already married. Yep. Most men have families yep. and are working already. And, and it's similar to ours, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, like my grandparents were married in early 20s. My dad was or, or 2021 or something mm-hmm. like that, maybe 22. So but see, that's still late. I'm an outlier for myself. I'm like <laughs> 27, not even. But even your parents... Or late. Haven't late compared to my grandma's generation, That's where right. women were, ha- so most people wouldn't even co- well in the African American community wouldn't even finish in school. Okay, they were dropping out in the sixth grade to go work and help the family. Dang, yep, That's a whole different. Yes, and they would be married. Then my grandmother told me stories about a lot of her classmates was pregnant and married with babies about fourteen, fifteen. So imagine that's fourteen instead of like eighth grade, eighth ninth yep. grade. Well, I, I can see it. I can. I got. I know my memory. Yeah. I know exactly what classroom I was sitting you know in. What I'm saying? Eight, nine grade. I so, can tell you. So, so, so she comes from that generation, and um, and my thing is, so my grandma, she left um Jasper, yep. Jasper, Jasper County, at eighteen. She goes to Connecticut, uh, and this is the part I found funny. My grandmother has always been a Christian, but if my grandmother was a Christian, <laughs> the only person know is her and whoever. I'm <laughs> her and God was, himself. Yeah, her and God. <laughs> Yeah, my grandma been saved for a long time, <laughs> probably since she was like twelve or something. But right, and and saved in the Christian community, what we call um, she was devoted. There you go. She was she was devoted. Devout, yep. Yeah, devout completely. Yep. So um, at eighteen, she went to move with her, with her cousin. But I found this out from my uncle before she moved. She already had um talked to her pastor. And trying to figure out did he know some saints Up in there. Connecticut? Okay. That she could. Um, he could put her in, in touch with so that, you know, she can get with them and go to church there and, you, you know, work her stuff out. For sure. So, find out. So, my grandmother moves to Connecticut. Yep. With her, her, with her first cousins. There you go. Find out her first cousin is a partier. Uh-oh. Eloise McLeod. When, no, at my dad's time, she was McLeod. should have been Eloise Polite. No, no ma'am. <laughs> she, uh, um, she, uh, couldn't, uh, she couldn't take that. So, she ended up moving she with. Out? She was out. Okay. So, then she ended up moving with one of the saints. Sure. Um, from the from the church and um, this is cause man, this my grandma she's a country girl. Oh yeah. And this time she meets my mother and um, she meets my um, my biological grandfather, which is my mom and her brother's father. Which I didn't know. My, that's a long story. Okay. And my step granddad. I thought he was. I thought he was my mother and father, father yeah. until. Their real father passed. Dang. Yeah, okay. but that's a whole another thing. Yep. But so he, um, he meets her and whatever at night. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 1920. Mm-hmm. So all, my grandma has. Let me see how many of them is it. I, mean, I gotta count my uncles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's eight of them. She she's the only girl and she has eight brothers. Dang. Eight Only brothers. Girl, eight brothers. She has eight brothers. So, what happens is, um, so she moves up there, a better yep. life, and she starts going to nursing school. Okay. S- better life. So what happens is, I guess you know, 
Eloise, the, the big sister, now move up move up to the city. And I'm pretty sure she's calling or writing letters at, at this time sure. and, yep. and, and telling them, um, you know, what's going on and all the opportunities. So what happens is each one of her brothers, they come move to Connecticut. They stay with her. But, but before my Uncle George told me, it was, a, it was a very short stay. Okay. They had an X amount of time to find them a job Yep. and get out. Okay. Find them a job and cool. get out. Yep. And she did this for all. Um, I think he told me I got a, um, almost every one of them except a few. And I have Uncle Leroy who who stayed down here. He, he never went. He's the only. Oh yeah. He's the only brother. I give you that another story after I just. <laughs> and that it okay. reminded me of another story. Go ahead. He's he the only brother that didn't win. Yep. And those guys did that, and they, and they, I laugh because these guys are man, these country boys. Oh yeah. Well, they went up to the city, and they all did good. And, um, I have some some lists of what they all became. I have Uncle Henry. Who I hear, um, congratulations, Uncle Henry. He's about either it happened yesterday or something happened today. He's gonna, they're gonna have a ceremony for him because he's becoming a deputy chief. Nice. Um, I have an Uncle Willie, who was a, a machine shop supervisor. He also had a clothing store. There you go. Uncle Gus, he was in waste management. Waste management. I had an Uncle Nelson, who had a, a liquor store, had clubs. He nice. also had, had a, a prosperous flooring business. There you go. I entrepreneur. A, yeah, oh, yep. he's he's an entrepreneur. Yep. I had an uncle Nick who worked at a vote company. I had an uncle Avon who was a preacher. Got a lot of family, man. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, this and this is just my grandma's brothers. This ain't like no <laughs> reaching like no cousins. I have a, a uncle Earl who I never met because he died before. Yep. I was born. He was a um a retired vet and worked for the utility uh, the utility company. Sure. Rumor was he was trying to retire at thirty five. Dang. Some when he was getting. My uncle Leroy, who was an iron worker and a welder, yep. And all those guys made it because their drive, because of my grandma, was the the driving force, the the, the force. Yep. And and that's a, that's a strong thing in my family. Like I knew if I was to be homeless, I I, think I would never be homeless. I I'm just I can pr- yep pretty confidently say that you can bank on it, find a job. And and so my grandmother was that, and each brother, and at the, at a certain point. My grandmother didn't have to do it no more because the, the other brother who's already established could get the other brother a job. Yep, they'll take you know, care of Okay, it. I got you. Oh, you need a job? I got you. I know the people because now they are connected. Yep. But why isn't the bond of my family, just as an example, that for the whole black community as it is for the brown community? Because you guys are not related. Oh, yeah. No. 